Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters, friends. It's your brother Naseem Khan, aka Nast. You, you all know, and my show in the limelight. I've got a special guest for you guys today. We've just run over a bit of time, so apologies. So I'll just straight away, I'll bring him into you right now. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I was, I was like, needing our camera to not be in your shot, yeah? I just put the camera on, and here I am. Assalamu alaikum. Well, Thank you for having me. At Salam least we can everyone. shake hands today, alhamdulillah. So yeah, last, last time we were very socially yeah, distant. Yeah. We were behaving ourselves last yeah. time. <laughs> who knows, in four weeks' time, we might have to start behaving ourselves again because <laughs> who knows what's happening with cases and that. But yeah, Allah I've, I've heard that. I've heard Allah that. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be How are you being, Tess? I'm good, bro. Thank you very much. It's been a busy time, as you as you've seen and read and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It does get a bit hectic and. And so oh, apologies for being late. It's my fault. Naz was on time. Yeah, but so you know, you know yeah, busy but they get it. Busy from last time, obviously you gave us in a little secret about something that was happening, and that secret yeah. was your book. Yes. Just tell us a bit more about that. Yeah. So last time I came on, I was like, I hadn't really announced it publicly, yeah. but I was. I let you know that it was yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. So obviously announced it last summer. I wrote it over the autumn and that. Uh, and so yeah, my book, The Secret Diary of a British Muslim, British is Muslim, thirteen yeah. and three quarters. It's about my life growing up here in Blackburn in the nineties. Okay. So it's a snapshot of what life was like for British Pakistani Muslims in that specific period of time, nineteen ninety six to two thousand and one. So it's like before that nine eleven period when things yeah. started going a bit yeah, changing yeah. a little bit and uh, Muslims got put in the limelight in a really bad way but you know there's still a lot of problems racism yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. but at the same time also it was a great time growing up in this town absolutely, in the 90s bro yeah. like yeah, so about school days about mosque days about getting in yeah, trouble yeah. inside school in mosque outside school outside mosque uh, all those messing about adventures you have with your cousins yeah, yeah, all those yeah. little fights you get into um, you know, things at home problems at home all yeah. that sort of stuff and then uh, college as well a bit later when uh, I could, I, like I found it a bit too much college compared to school and stuff so there's a lot of it covers a lot of ground there's a lot of comedy in there but also a lot of realness in it as well yeah, I've read so, it. have you read it yeah yeah, yeah. So, you know, so you know what I'm talking about <laughs> absolutely yeah, so there's yeah, a yeah. lot of realness in there. there's a lot of comedy in there a lot of fun yeah. stories but also a lot of things that people might look at my life and think oh wow I didn't know that happened to yeah, you yeah yeah so, See, yours is from taking it from the 90s, isn't it? Yeah. We can go back to mid 80s, exactly. When six, seven years old. Well, that's and part, then step in. Yeah, that's yeah. part of the reason that I wrote yeah. it because when I was growing up, there was no book like that for me to read. Yeah. You yeah. know, about people who grew, came in the 60s, 70s, yeah, yeah, 80s, yeah. and their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. There's no book like that for me to read. And even now, there's no book yeah, like yeah. that for us to read. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to write a book about what it was like in the 90s at yeah. that period of time yeah. so that. We can look back on it with a good laugh. Yeah, and yeah, and, like, it, and oh, yeah, it gives you a visual. It gives you a yeah. visual where normally we just talk to our elders and they brief you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's also really really good. for these youngsters as well to yeah, know yeah, what yeah. they like, because actually it's twenty years, twenty five yeah, years ago, bro. So for them to know what life was like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was like, if I if I think about my nephews when I was their age, that would have been about the time I was in the book. I'd have been yeah, my yeah, nephew's yeah, age yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. If like my uncle was telling me about what's happening in the seventies, yeah, I'm like, well, that was like a dinosaur time, you know, that was ages ago. <laughs> in the nineties, yeah. I feel like that. No, it no, feels no. like it was just yeah, yeah. not that long ago. But yeah, if my is this the same as if my uncle was telling me about the seventies, I'd have been yeah. like, you know, what do I care about dinosaur yeah, times, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But so to give them a snapshot of what life was yeah, actually yeah. like for us. Nineties was a very good era for everything. Really. It, was it was pre was pre of, pre yeah. internet. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't have that internet. You know, no, we didn't have no. streaming services. There was just five channels, four channels, and five channels we got. So, I remember in, um, I think it was 97 in college, I'm going way back now, uh, the first thing the internet we had was a big E. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a big E used to come yeah, on screen, yeah, used yeah, to go yeah. up that, and then obviously it was the era of the old school music coming in at that time, and then late 99 is when I did my career in music. Yeah, exactly, so you got all, yeah, that, yeah. To, all that stuff yeah, to reminisce yeah, about, yeah. So, isn't it? A lot like, going on. Sweet like chocolate <laughs> boy. I'm the one who bought the garage sweet music here. Like <laughs> chocolate. Oh, that stuff's tomo, tomo. Yeah, tomo, tomo. But, uh, yeah, but, but yeah, all that stuff in it. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah, man, it was it was a really Because nobody a, knew a what two step and garage was, so yeah. we broke it brought it up to the North scene at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild label. It was it was yeah. wow. It was uh, yeah, it was a very special time. Very special time. So yeah, look back look back on it very fondly with a lot of really on memories but also there's a lot going on as well yeah, a lot yeah, in the yeah. white there's a lot going on in my own life yeah. in the community and then in the wider world there's a lot yeah, of stuff yeah. going on stuff like going on, yeah. when i got started going through wikipedia and remembering all the things that happened in those years that i wanted to talk about i was like oh yeah that happened oh yeah that happened oh yeah there was stuff happening in kosovo in palestine there was stuff happening in um you know in saudi arabia yeah. there was like there were two like two planes got hijacked like a year before 9 11 yeah, by these yeah, two saudi yeah. guys yeah yeah and like Back then, they just kind of maybe didn't make a lick, but maybe you look back now and maybe they were just doing a dry run for maybe they're just practicing for 9 11, thinking, yeah. Can we actually hijack a plane? Like it was, bro, all these things I was thinking, you know, 
need to connect the dot. There was so much stuff going on yeah, in the yeah. dunya because people act like 9/11 came out of nowhere. Like yeah. nothing was going on. Then suddenly 9/11 happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get too deep about it. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you he look back, he's a comedian, so you know. But if you look back at the <laughs> other stuff that was happening before, then like the Yemen bombings and all this yeah. sort of stuff, like there were things happening that led up to that point. They didn't just, it didn't just come. No. Like, Johnny, when we were kids, we didn't know about that stuff. Finished. No, so far no, as no, it came no. out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. You know, when, a lot when, changed after that. A lot, a changed. lot changed. So, how so that's what the book. So, at. if you haven't read the book, that's what it ends. It ends that month that, that of 9/11 because right. that's the month that I go to uni. So it's almost yeah, like a, yeah. a brand new chapter for Muslims, but also a brand new chapter for me as well because I've moved away from home for the first time. So it's a good time to end the book. End the book. Yeah. Do you and think you're going to be doing a part two? I don't know, but people people asking, people want it. I think you should. But that's my university years, and I'm not <laughs> sure. I need to. I'm not sure I want to talk about secret them. the class. Yeah, talk about, talk about, that's the big I... secrets. <laughs> So with all these tours, uh, Taj, you're getting back into your tours again. Mm. It's very difficult to get you, yeah, because I know, you know yeah. I mean? So the apologies, but you know me, I always make time and no, that. No, but absolutely, it's, yeah. It's difficult, bro. But you, he's been it's all tricky. over the, all it's over, tricky. I've all been all over the country, bro. I'll tell you, bro. Next week, so just next week. So Wednesday, I mean, so I've, I've had a week off, luckily. Yeah, yeah. So this, is, I'm, I've been 22. So I've had 47 shows, 47 shows wow. on my tour. I've been 22, so I've got 25 less, so more or less halfway through. Um, and so this coming, so I've had a week off now, which has been really nice. I'm I've been at home chilling. But this coming week now, I've got Oxford on Wednesday. Oxford get ten. I've got Warwick Coventry on Thursday, Leicester on Friday, Bristol on Saturday, and then Swindon on Sunday. Look at that. That's all over, and it's from there to there to there. And then the following week, I've got Norwich. <sighs> Mother, yeah. got bloody no way. <laughs> I've got Norwich, Northampton, and Wolverhampton back to back. Mashallah. But you know, it's very good. It's a very good progression. Alhamdulillah, you've done really, really well. Thank you, bro. We Thank are you. proud of you. Don't no, I appreciate that. that. You know what? Time, I, you know? I feel hometown. it, bro. You know you what? Get I, me. I actually feel it. <laughs> yeah. Like, people always be like, oh, what are your hometown thing? I'm like, you know what? They're really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People in black. But you know what? It's really respectful as well. No one bothers me when I'm out and about. You no, know, they recognize me. No, like, no. kids do, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do a little bit because yeah, you want to and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But anyone kind of. In their twenties, above thirties, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But when they recognize me, they don't really bother me. They like, give me like salam. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're proud of you. What you're doing? It's been. I think I that's, that's been really nice. That's how I just want to touch upon that. We spoke about this last time. I think the generation like that is very changed now. Mm. But you still get the odd hater within a circle. Who you, you know think. what? If because been, they've got nothing better to say. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you know. Of course, there's haters out there yeah, in the yeah. world, and <clears throat> and you gotta try your best to ignore them because. It's, it's weird, bro. It's like psychology, bro. You'll get 10 bandits singing your praises. Yeah. One person will say some of that. That's all you remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. it's a human nature thing because I, I think yeah. everyone goes through that sort of yeah. thing. But you got to try and shut those people out. But Alhamdulillah, I'm Blackburn. I'm half haters. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? But they've never been to my face. That's a normal so, thing. So in Blackburn, <laughs> yeah. so in Blackburn, Alhamdulillah, everyone's very, very supportive. Absolutely. From all com- white communities as well. Bro, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Our own community. No, no, everyone's Alhamdulillah. I've seen supportive. you grow. You know, you've grown and uh, support is the main thing at the end of the day from one brother to another mm. because you know not just being South Asian or Muslim but just as a human because mm. you've done really good mm. you come from Blackburn yeah 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 hometown I'd be I mean? proud if Agora was you know if Agora does bits from Black if Agora from Blackburn yeah. does bits and just going on TV yeah. I'm really proud of them I'd be yeah. like oh, that's from my hometown yeah, yeah, yeah. like AJ Odudu she's on Strictly Come Dancing she's my moment. friend's cousin my yeah friend's, so there you yeah, go so yeah. AJ Odudu she's, she went she went, she, she went Our Lady in St. John yeah so she she's from uh, like Roman Road isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. so just if you don't know she's a really tall slender black lady beautiful. hopefully she will be coming on but she's been busy with her is it dancing or something yeah of course she's on she's on because the Udu brothers they own um, brown sugar promotions that I used to be with you oh know, okay right right, right 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 so, so, yeah. so yeah so Alhamdulillah she's from Blackburn I'm really proud of her yeah, because yeah. you know she might not be quote unquote part of the Muslim community yeah, yeah, but she's, but part she's, of still the, she's part of the black community yeah, yeah. she's part of a human community yeah, yeah. so we're still very very proud of yeah, her she, she's a, like a big presenter and yeah she's she's going to under the last yeah. strictly as well her, her profile's going to go even bigger, yeah, bigger. Yeah, that's it, yeah. so yeah so I'm really proud of her so look anyone from Blackburn yeah, yeah, who yeah. does well we're really proud of yeah because it's hometown in it he's got that link mm, you know mm. what I mean so what's your plans going forward now after this? I know we spoke about the book. What yeah, the yeah. So that was, that was the last time. So yeah, yeah. inshallah, who knows if there'll be a part two or whatever. If, the, if that's in my kismet, that'll happen. But you know, writing your content, uh, um, content, sorry, mm. we spoke about last time. Obviously, mm. you got to say it, right? So you know the way you bring these uh, stuff into it, like you just spoke about uh, Lebanon, Palestine, and X, Y, Z, and 9-11. Do you have to like compose that yourself and like think how I'm gonna bring it in? So yeah, it's yeah. like a joke yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, do you have to run it past somebody or do you just? With my book, I did because yeah. I have an editor. Yeah, uh, yeah. obviously you got a publishing company. They have yeah, an editor, yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> she was great though because obviously you write the book yourself, but then yeah. you give it to them and they kind of Break it chisel down. it a bit, yeah, yeah. chisel yeah, it a little yeah. bit, and they give you notes and that yeah, and yeah. be like, okay, this bit's very interesting. 
make me make make a bit more of that make the make the yeah. book more like Expander, this yeah. this bit is interesting to you but yeah, like that yeah, interesting yeah. to other people so maybe take that out and stuff yeah. so bro i probably ended up writing about 150 160,000 words wow. of which 100,000 ended up being published so there's probably there's a full half a book that didn't even get published because it was not that interesting well there were stories that kind of i was writing out about other people and yeah. to be fair, that's not my story. No, it's not. No. So it was interesting for me to get it off my chest. Because that's how you learn, though. Because yeah. when you look at it, you think, oh, yeah, she's right or he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I should be focusing on this. Definitely, because definitely. in your head, you think you're doing good, but you're emphasizing more on the other part, even like you said. You definitely. Should. And and for some people, like, you know, bad people happen, bad things happen to other people yeah, as well. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. And it was interesting to me, so I wrote about it. And then she was right. She was like, that's not your story, that's their story, innit? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, she's right. It's not fair for me to tell yeah, other yeah. people's stories in my own book, innit? Yeah, yeah. So she was right. So I took them bits. It was interesting for me to write it yeah, yeah. and look back on it and stuff. Do I think and you, I you may want to do like um, a little uh, skit on it or something? Well, you know, we, we, I, I, I am talking to people yeah. about maybe making the book into a TV show. Yeah, yeah. But these processes are very long. No, absolutely. So, you know, keep us in your doors. So, I you know, think it'll be really good. I think it'll be really good. You know, kind of, do you ever watch Everybody Hits I'm Chris? I'm available if you ever, you know. Oh, yeah, of course. Not, whatever, bro. <laughs> um, do you ever watch Everybody Hits Chris? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, kind of a cross between Everybody Hits Chris and Derry Girls. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you can set a show based on my book set in the 90s yeah, about these four or five kids going to school and stuff yeah, and about their and yeah and around. about the wider of what's happening in their family and yeah, stuff yeah. i think that could be really really fun absolutely that's a good idea so yeah. so we're trying to get that off the ground but bro these things take time they're long you're competing with a thousand other people with yeah, thousands yeah. of the proposals and everyone's proposals are good yeah, everyone's yeah. got good ideas yeah, yeah. so it's about gismet a bit of luck and yeah. a bit of the wars as well so we'll see we'll see we'll i mean see, if you inshallah. push say that you know south asians will love it yeah, yeah, of course. They know they know we're a big market. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I think it's... everyone loved it because everyone because there's the nineties. Anybody we all lived yeah, through the nineties, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So there are obviously there are stuff that is specific to us about going to mosque and little cultural stuff, but also struggling through school, yeah, getting yeah. into fights. Those things are universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, getting dipped up from local shop and that. Those things are universal. Absolutely, bro. we all did that. You can never. Remember those uh, promotions on Kit Kat where you used to get the little uh, the Fanta and yeah, Coke yeah, and that yeah, and you yeah. cut it out and you join it together yeah, and then yeah, yeah. and then you get a free drink yeah, stuff yeah. like that, bro. That's you know that's you can't that's you can't, universal. That's that. We you all went through that. You can't forget that, man. We all went through that. You cannot forget that, man. Absolutely. So I just want to say, yeah, we've covered quite a few things there. Mm. Taz, I, still, I just don't want to end it at this moment in time because um, I know we could talk about a few more things. Um, to talk about your tours. What message do you want to give to the youth? It's interesting, people ask me this all the time and it's kind of like every every generation is they find their way. Because we say this about every generation that oh they're a bit effed up, they're mm. doing too many bungi, they're not concentrating, they're not doing this. But I'm the lot, bro, they get it together, they come out okay. They yeah. said that about your generation, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your elders said that yeah, about yeah, you lot. Yeah. And the lot, everyone's done okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously not but maybe not 100% everyone, but most people, they do okay. They said that about my generation. They said that about the generation below. We're probably saying about this generation. Oh, TikTok down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Schools, they yeah, and all yeah. this. We've said it about them, don't we? But they get it together. But don't you think focusing on that, my points actually come into it now. Mm-hmm. Our parents, or any child's parent, need to spend more time with them. Definitely. They need to definitely. know what they're doing, what's going definitely. on. Because the youngsters these days are very broad-minded. They're very clever. Mm. They know a lot of things where you expect not for them to talk in front of your parents, mm. but that you rather speak to them than them going to speak to somebody else for all problem more than them. Yeah, definitely. I think I mentioned in, this in last the way that well. our parents couldn't really communicate with us. Yeah, they're yeah, from yeah. a different time and era, innit? Like if a and kid goes upstairs... They're literally they're from a different place. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. from Pakistan, innit? Yeah, so yeah. they didn't really have that sort of communication yeah. and stuff with, with us lot. Well, we kind of adapted, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. now as you're growing and you have children and you see other children, when your child, for example, goes to the room, a typical parent will say, oh, what's Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mental yeah. awareness. Yeah, yeah. Could be anything. Yeah, yeah. We know mental health is a massive issue yeah. worldwide, nationally, but also obviously our community is not immune to that. So... There's sometimes a bit, a bit of shame, a bit of shame about yeah, talking yeah. about these things, but there's no shame in it. There's no shame. If you got issues, like if I had a broken leg, if I broke my leg, I wouldn't be ashamed about it. I'd be like, it happened, didn't it? And yeah, I've got a heal, I've got to go to doctor and yeah, heal it. Yeah. Similarly, if I had uh, something going on in my head yeah. that needs healing, you go to the doctor and talk about it. Because a lot's happening, like, with, in, in regards to bullying or, yeah, mm. you know, sexual issues, mm. you know what I mean? Because mm. a lot of people are changing, you understand? Yeah. But yeah. I think the parents do need to speak to the children because yeah. going forward, you rather have that than the, somebody from outside. Yeah, exactly. And I think you should be able to trust your kids as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they'd that they'll be okay. Everyone's making yeah. mistakes. People act like, oh what well, my kid is that you did that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may, we made mistakes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. of course our kids are going to make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Our parents probably made mistakes that yeah, they don't yeah. tell us about. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Our parents came in the 70s, 80s. You think they yeah. weren't out doing the machine? No. Of course they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, especially our dads. So, <clears throat> you know, they made mistakes. We'll make mistakes. The next generation will make mistakes. But Alhamdulillah, like, it's about not making it too over the top. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. they're doing this, they're doing that. Yeah, Every yeah. generation does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every generation started listening to music that the previous generation thought was gone. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, Every, yeah. So everyone just have their own different tastes. But yeah, you get yeah. it together, bro. These kids will go to uni. If they don't go to uni, they'll get jobs. They'll become yeah, business yeah. people. You know, they'll, they'll get it together, bro. We don't have to worry about them too much. But Alhamdulillah, keep your deen. That's the most yeah, important thing. Most important. And everything else is just secondary. What do you think about this song? I just forgot, I should have mentioned it earlier, but there's a... <laughs> Reason I bet you might even use it as your skit. Go on. But they were saying here on the news that they're getting the lorry drivers as ex cons come and drive the lorries. Bro, we need the lorry drivers, <laughs> innit? Get whoever you can. You know, if you go to another lockdown, I'll start doing it. I'll be a bit as well. They said so, that one guy actually who's checking the lorry you know, on the news, he was checking, he was an ex con for drugs and he got caught bringing the stuff in with the lorry and they're using him to drive it. Well, then who better to know? <laughs> who better to know, yeah, that where they hide the stuff? You know what I mean? He knows the little hiding places, isn't it, that other people, that Sadeh Bandi like us, won't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's a good idea. Although maybe he doesn't want to be a grass in it. I don't know. Because if yeah. I was from that life, I wouldn't want to be a grass in it. Oh, yeah. But, um, but, but yeah, no. Of I course, just want things get people, better for us. People make mistakes yeah. and they deserve second chances. Absolutely. So if you're an ex-con, and you've come out, you need a job, innit? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's not like you can go and work in a school or somewhere, yeah, become yeah. a teacher or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, we need we need to utilise. Otherwise, if, if people come out from prison and they don't get opportunities and jobs, yeah. what are they going to fall back into? Absolutely. Life of crime. So we need to give these people good jobs too, so that that stuff isn't appealing. Absolutely. And, you know, get them away from the... If they're like driving lorries, then they're not in their areas, innit? Yeah, to post exactly. the marshy. And then they can go, you know, you visit go. Europe. And go around... Positive message how we did that. Fantastic. Exactly. Tess, exactly. thank you so much for bro, coming Thank you up, so much for having me. Until Always a next pleasure. time, absolutely. Always a pleasure. And uh, sign up to UCTV, make sure you subscribe <laughs> and keep keep watching my boy in that. Thanks, Jal. Take care guys and inshallah until next time. Peace out.